What up? It's your boy NWP, and finally, Call of Duty Black Ops 4 is out. And today, we're playing it. We got on a little bit early, but I didn't upload any videos till now, you know, after, you know, it's actually been released, because that's how I felt about the whole situation. But, before we talk about anything about this game, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, take the time to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell just next to it so that you can get alerted anytime that I drop a new video. If you like this video at any time, hit the thumbs up, and if you have any comments, suggestions, or feedback, drop them in the box below. So, yeah, uh, you know, it's I honestly didn't have the most fun on the first, like, like two days of the beta, really, um, till they had put some type of nerf on the um, armor. But I thought we'd just take a look at the game right now and take a look at the Rampart 17, which, uh, you know, some people want to say it's like a scar because it has a similar iron sight, but like iron sights could be anything on any gun ever, and that's like the same one that's on the M27 and you know like so many other guns in the game, really. But um, if you if you go by Black Ops 3 and the way this gun shoots and the damage it does, the way that it actually looks and the way that it handles, it's uh, definitely going to be the man of war in my opinion. So this is my best class layout right now. Um, I have a Man of War, or, or the Rampart 17, if you will, with a grip, the uh, Fast Mags, and um, High Caliber 1 right now. Uh, I think, I personally, that I'll probably be changing to High Caliber 2, just because it really will melt people insanely. But, uh, you know, I haven't really unlocked anything super special yet, and I've only been playing for like two hours, two and a half hours or so. Oh, and I got the hiccups, apparently. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> we're gonna have to suffer through this and try and not hiccup into the mic is uh, like every five seconds but uh yeah um so also using um you know because i'm playing solo here and i hadn't had um you know the ability to use uh the counter uav yet uh so i'm running ghost cold blood and scavenger at the moment and that's what I find to be really effective in the game right now. If you're solo, if you're playing with a party and you're getting those counter UAVs up and stuff like that, obviously you don't need Ghost. You probably want to either go with like the uh, motion tracker um, or something like, you know, something different basically. I can't even think of all the perks off the top of my head right now. Uh, it's been a long day. It's been a strenuous day, but, uh, you know, that's neither here nor there. But, you know... The game feels good, except I, I don't know about, like, I feel like 125 health would be the optimal amount of health in the game. Not 150 like it is right now. It just, it feels tanky like, like, uh, Halo almost. So, yeah, take a look at this Rampart 17 gameplay, you know? Doing pretty good here. I think I just unlocked a care pack before this match, too. Now, the snipers, okay, the sniper thing. <laughs> The uh, with the sniper choppers, that that is uh, <laughs> so it's like marksmanship or something like that. I don't even know what this thing is called. I'm about to look it up right now for real. I'm gonna I'm gonna, I'm gonna Google this. We're gonna say Black Ops Four, uh, yeah, kill streaks, and we'll see what we got here listed. I can't I can't think of the name, but it is funny. Um. The Sniper's Nest. The Sniper's Nest, which uh, is pretty awesome, actually. So check that out uh, if you get a chance. And uh, I, I might go find uh, like what the video looks like, see if you can actually see like the you know the kill feeds and stuff like that, like or, or the uh, kill cam, I should say. But uh, the Sniper's Nest was absolutely hilarious. Probably one of my favorite kill streaks because it's like that one uh, from Ghosts, the the uh, support one, where you could actually, you know, like fly on a helicopter with a sniper rifle, but it was like awful. But <laughs> but instead of it being that, it's, this is like actually the you know the game doing it for you. So it is different by a substantial amount, which is pretty cool. Um, yeah, I mean honestly, the last man, I didn't like Black Ops Three that much. I didn't like World at War. Didn't like Infinite Warfare, uh, you know, so it's just, it's been just terrible for COD for me, and uh, Boots on the Ground, Black Ops, definitely a lot of fun at this point, so yeah, figured I'd get uh, my first decent gameplay, you know, it's not great, it's not, you know, some amazing stuff right here, 
It's just uh, you know the first decent one that I got uh, tonight, and do a little commentary, talk to you guys, see what's up, see how you guys feel about the game, and uh, you know like what's your favorite part of the game yet? I haven't even played Blackout yet, so uh, you know there's still that for me to do, and uh, I'm enjoying the game a lot already. So uh, you know I was I was kind of worried about it before you know in the beta, but you know what I mean. Like I'm not a, the biggest Treyarch fan. But I gotta tell you, jungle is what I think was what's really doing it for me in this map right here. Um, I do believe that this map is probably one of the better uh, maps to ever grace the, uh, the um, basically like any FPS game for that matter. And uh, I, I oh firing range also is in here, which is really really cool as well. So. Um, that's awesome. Uh, you know, but slums, jungle, firing range, summit, uh, you know, like so many of these older, like really just like crucially awesome maps are in here and it's just, it's, it's, it, you know, it's really cool. It's honestly awesome. And, uh, there's a few maps that feel like they got reminiscent feels of different, you know, other games. Uh, there's one in there that feels like a really like a ghost's map almost to me and stuff like that, but... It's really a lots of fun, you know what I mean? But, uh, yeah, guys, what do you guys think about the game? Thanks for watching to the end of the video. Don't forget to check out in the description the giveaway that I'm doing. And, uh, yeah, guys, I hope you really uh, did enjoy the video, and thank you for watching. You guys are awesome. Thank you for subscribing, and I'm outie. Peace.